legal or illegal? First of all, we got our rosin bag. My hands are not sweaty at all. And I'm gonna rosin up a little bit. You can see it does not, there's no tackiness in my hands. It does not stick to the baseball. Nothing sticks to the baseball at all. I'm gonna wash my hands, get them a little sweaty, and then try it again and we'll see what the difference is. All right, now my hands are just a little bit sweaty. Go back to the rosin bag. As it mixes with the sweat more and more, my hands get stickier and stickier. You can hear the tack. And then after a little while, your hands get so sticky that the baseball can actually stick to your palms without really, you know, without really, you know, holding it at all, which is kind of crazy. The combination of sweat and rosin literally has the ball sticking to their hands. And as you can see, it works pretty well. This gives pitchers a higher spin rate on their fastballs, curveballs, sliders, whatever you can think of which makes them harder to hit because they move more. So you tell me, 